Joining me on the couch is the bold to my beautiful, it's Elizabeth Davy. Hi, Simon. Hello. Hi, Simon. Good to have you. Hey, now, l let me ask. This week, do you know what zeitgeist means? Because I'm not any closer to understanding it. This week, Simon, the zeitgeist... Well, you know how your parents play Sudoku on the train? Mm -hmm. It's the opposite of that. Uh, I think I'm getting it. Yeah, OK. Good. Well, you know what I don't get, Simon? What's that? Equal pay. Well, no one does. It's, <laughs> it's community TV. No one gets paid here. No, Simon, the gender pay gap. Oh. You know, it's currently 18.2% in Australia. And even though women usually live longer than men, we retire with an average of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars less in superannuation whoa that's... <laughs> it's a big number you know yeah. it's serious but it seems there might finally be an answer i need to make an announcement i'm going to need you to give me the desk well what i don't think <laughs> i'll be presenting this si this segment simon as a woman i cost less than you it just makes financial sense no we don't get paid on this show <laughs> Women of Australia, I was recently alerted by my superannuation company that because of the gender pay gap, women simply cannot acquire enough superannuation to sustain them for later life. Luckily for us, my super company, company sent me a letter with some information on how us women can help make the difference. This is their letter. Most women are a force to be reckoned with when they set their mind to something. So why not make a choice to take charge of your finances over the next few months? We know it doesn't sound like quite as much fun as shopping or spending time with your family. <laughs> but feeling more in control of your future has its own rewards. You know, like not having to spend your retirement eating cat food and living under a bridge. <laughs> now, they sent me 300 savings tips that quite frankly sound as though they were written by a penis in a top hat. <laughs> but with the wage gap as wide as a dude's knees on public transport, what have I got to lose? So I thought I'd uh, grab my girlfriends and sort out my finances. So I've decided to test out a few of their suggestions myself. Is this legit? Uh, yes, Simon, I would like to emphasize that this letter and these tips are 100% real. Uh, I can't say the name of the super fund for legal reasons, but let's just say it rhymes with Dick Super. <laughs> so uh, number 63 we've got here is take advantage of happy hour. So you can be drunk when your husband gets home from his well-paid corporate job. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> Number 77. Avert your eyes from the cue tempting items at the checkout. Well, you know, I just accidentally looked right. I, I couldn't help myself. I bought everything my eyes fell on, even things I didn't want. Being a woman, huh? <laughs> Number 290 is reuse your tea bags. I've been using this one for a month now. <laughs> it tastes like compost, but I've saved at least $2 for my retirement already. <laughs> now, there are 300 of these, but my favorite has to be number 193. Work on your relationship. Divorce and separation are not only emotionally devastating, they can be one of the most expensive things we ever do as well. <laughs> That's right, ladies. Let's not be too picky about little things like, is this a healthy relationship? Or do I deserve better? You know, in this economic climate, you just can't afford to be such a negative Nelly. <laughs> now, I road tested a few other tips this week. Let's take a look. Ladies, make a choice to take charge of your finances so you don't get eaten by your cats after you die poor and alone with no superannuation. You too can save by mixing and matching to get the most use from your clothes. I'm on my way to a job interview. When it comes to holidays, think local. Try camping instead. It's also a cost-effective housing solution. <laughs> Take your own snacks to the movies. Ma'am, I'm not going to say it again. You can't bring that into the cinema. 
if possible. And remember, now and then, it's okay to say no. Don't feel pressured by friends, children or colleagues into spending money that you don't have. Thank you. Easy. Yep, split three ways, 30 bucks each. What? $30 each? For breakfast? Ma'am, you did have three Bloody Marys and the trout. No. No. I'm sorry, I am not getting pressured into this. Not again. <laughs> I have to think about my retirement. As you can see, it's just so much easier to completely change yourself and your lifestyle than it is to close that pesky gender wage gap. Thanks, Dick Super. And thanks, Elizabeth Davy, everyone. Wonderful. Sorry, Simon. But I think I'll stay. I've gotten a taste for equality and I reckon I'll get paid more as a host. No one gets paid here. I don't know what you're...